All right, so I live in Louisiana, and I don't have a TV, but you've seen all those stupid shows of the people that live on the swamps of the alligators. Well, alligators are a big business here, and they're delicious. So today I'm cooking under the influence. We're going to be doing some alligator. <laughs> Hello and welcome once again to Cooking Under the Influence. I am your host and chef du jour. I'm Sean and I have a sous chef with me. This is Mike. Come here. Yeah. It's not a real <laughs> live audience. You look like you're nervous. I'm not. I just don't know what to say. Say whatever the hell you want. All right. Mike is a great guy. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, Sean just dumped for, most of his drink on me. Time for another one. Today on Cooking Under the Influence, as I said, we're going to be cooking some alligator, stuffed alligator. But as all good chefs know, before we start cooking, we need a drink. Today we're drinking, what are we drinking? Martinis. Martinis. That's right. I've done these before on here, so you know how to do them. You haven't watched all my videos 20 times? Each? I've watched several of them, several. Good little helper. This is what passes for a shaker in the Fitzmaurice household. I don't know what happened to my shaker. This sucks. I don't know why I can't have a proper shaker. Oh, here comes the reason why I can't have a proper shaker. I'm not broadcasting live, it's just recording. <laughs> Jesus Christ, why is this so difficult? <laughs> Good thinking, Mike. Okay, Mike has olives, but the olives take up just too much room from the booze in this little tiny glass. <laughs> Cheers. 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 Or as they say in Germany. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get cooking, shall we? What are we making? Alligator. Actually, contrary to popular belief, most people think that alligators are brownish, green, large, scaly, and intimidating, when in fact, this is what they look like when they come out of the swamp. Yes. Little... Another popular misconception outside of Louisiana. I need to go slaughter my own alligator out in the swamps right behind my house because, you know, you have to get to everybody's house in a boat here in Louisiana. Right. Reptilian looking things. That's special, special, effects. Effects. special, special effects. effects. Special effects. This is what this it actually is what looks, looks like. like. It does have a very tough exterior hide, as you can see. <laughs> and it's got some markings on it because it's ready to mate. So that is the that is the color that will attract the member of the opposite sex to mate with the alligator. Everything's better with bacon. Everything is better with bacon. That is true. Dead pig makes life wonderful. Mike has a wonderful idea for a, a restaurant. Would you like to tell the audience what it is? At the risk of being <laughs> lynched, lynched, lynched at some point. Yeah, yeah. It's entirely possible. A World War II era Nazi themed theme restaurant. Nice. Where it looks like a German beer hall. Okay. But it's got all of the giant imposing red and black propaganda <laughs> posters hanging everywhere. Floor to ceiling. Periodically during your meal, someone dressed up like Hitler will get up and rant at a podium. A Vorführung zur eigenen Arbeit, zur eigenen Zeit. Before you finish with your meal, you are roughly escorted off by guards <laughs> through the gift shop, which is disguised as a gas chamber on the outside. <laughs> I'm going to drain the gator. Wow, uh, that sounded really uh, rude. Uh, <laughs> Outstanding. What would some of the menu items be like? I'm glad that you asked. <laughs> In keeping with the Nazi Germany theme, we have dishes like the Anne Frankfurter. <laughs> the Anne Frankfurter. The Anne Frankfurter and with dictator tots. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this is what gator, alligator meat looks like. Ooh, it's oh, it's dripping it. everywhere. Me dripping something on here? Shocker. And for breakfast, you could have Luft waffles. <laughs> and for dessert, you could have the chocolate Mussolini. All right, this is a little chunk of alligator. It just looks like, I don't know, catfish or chicken or something. It kind of has a taste of catfish with the texture of chicken. Or another entree would be this Dalinguini. 
I like it. I like that too. I like that. All right, Mike's cutting these jalapenos. They're done. Great. Oh, Mike, I probably should have told you to use gloves when you cut this. I'm fully anticipating to get this on my foreskin when I get a pee later. Oh boy, that sounds like fun. No, it's not. It's going to be awful. And then if you want something to go on your dictator tots, you could have the mass gravy. Mass gravy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I've never gotten jalapeno in my wee wee. I'm filling them with a little cream cheese. I season the cream cheese with a little Tony Sacheries. Great stuff. I don't know if we can get it where you're from, but we have it here in the same time. Picking Dachau. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or if you just want something light, like in the summer, they would also have Sobe Borscht. <laughs> and then we're going to take a little strip of, uh, what do you call this? Alligator. A, right landing, a landing strip. A uh, landing strip of alligator. <laughs> nice. And there's also the, the Nuremberger with, with, or, with or without cheese. The Ava Braunschweiger. <laughs> or the Ava, Ava Brownie. That's a good one, too. That's nice. That's too. a good one, too. Pansiered fish. That was, that's awesome. I love that one. And for the Catholics, you could say grace with a Heil Mary. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a big fan of Zatarans myself. Yeah. Zatarans it makes an entire family of amazing products. Is, Fantastic. Are they paying y'all to say that? Also, they are excellent with their fish fries and their crawfish and crab boil mixes. It is a New Orleans tradition. What the fuck are y'all talking about? Jalapeno stuffed with Swiss... No, not Swiss cheese. What is that? Cream cheese. Cream cheese. Alligator wrapped with a bogum. That's some thick-ass bacon. I know. Normally you would soak the jalapeno in maybe tequila. Ooh. You could soak the jalapeno in tequila. That would be good. You're just standing there. So Sean, tell what me what you What the fuck do you want me to do? Wrap bacon things. Here. Or you're working too fast. This is like that Lucy and Ethel thing. I know, I'm the Lucy. conveyor belt. You know, when they were on the candy. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> I'm a Sorelli sous chef. How about that? <laughs> what did I do to deserve this? Ooh, I wonder how what would we like if we dip that in fish fry and then deep fry them. Delicious. You want to do that? Not so much. When you run out of alligator and jalapeno, but you still have bacon left over, you gotta do something with it. So unfortunately I happen to have chicken breasts. So let's wrap a chicken breast in bacon. Why not? Oh, you know what we can do? Let us. You can stuff it with the cream cheese. That's exactly Hell right. Hell yeah. You wanna cut that on a chopping board and not on your hand? Oh yeah, that's a great idea. Stuff the cream cheese into the chicken. This looks like somebody's heart just got sliced open. I know that feeling. Oh, God, this is what I've been forgetting. This is very sad. Let's bake these suckers. The kilt. Those? It's not the kilt, it's <laughs> the man underneath. Mike's using, Mike's wearing one of my kilts because they're comfy. All right, this is going to be fun. kilts because you can't, can't find his underwear or his <laughs> pants. <laughs> Oh, that sounds nice. 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 Alright, I'm not going to broil these because it's going to... I want to do them slowly because you got to cook that alligator in the middle. Now, Chef Sean, could you do these on the grill? <laughs> Actually, I was just going to say, you could totally do them on the grill. My grill is out of gas right now and it's dark, so it would be hard. Oh my. That's a lot of meat. That's what she That's said. What she said. <laughs> <laughs> Vodka is just awesome water. Oh. These smell awesome. Here, I'm gonna move these onto the into a higher rack. Move them higher, closer to closer to heaven. Okay, it's taking way longer than I expected it to. Like 30 minutes or something. Oh, my glasses are all fogged up. But these look freaking awesome. Alligator stuffed with jalapenos, cream cheese, and wrapped in bacon. My crew, my audience, and my sous chef have abandoned me. They're watching 
movie previews on my computer. How's that look? Nice. I'm gonna let it rip. All those muscle fibers that you just subjected to all the intense heat, they relax a little bit and release their juices. Chicken's looking good. See, things on toothpicks, it's like state fair food with smaller skewers. I've never made this before. I had no idea how this would taste. It is freaking awesome. So next episode, pecan crusted catfish with a shrimp bechamel sauce. It'll be easy. Not quite as easy as it, but this is good. All right, thank you for watching. Absolutely awesome. Good stuff. Good stuff. Hiccups? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Adios. See you later, alligator. After a while, rock a